Hi, this is Maria with Leapwing Audio. Welcome back to another 5-minute video series. Today, I am going to be showing you a really cool trick using Dyn1. Have you ever thought that parallel compression can also be used for stereo widening effects? Check this out. So you guys have seen in previous videos the different ways in which Dyn1 can be util utilized. You can drop it on a bass track to get more control, or you can drop it on the drums to gain more presence and more crunch and more uh, in-your-face type of thing. But what about stereo width? So the other day, uh, I was talking to my friend Frank Socorro, and he was sharing this technique with me, and I, th and I thought, oh, it's brilliant. So for backroom vocals, this is great because with a track like the one that I'm going to play now, you're going to notice that there's lots of elements happening, and when you compress the sides, you create this extra effect as if things were more present towards the side, so it feel they feel actually wider than they are, but in reality, you're just compressing. All right, so this is a track by my friends uh, Monos featuring San Alejo. There are two great bands from Colombia, and as you can see, um, this session is full of tracks. Um, we've got basses, we've got um, programmed bass, um, synth basses, we have drums, we have programmed drums, we have so many things going on, as you can see, so, so many tracks. It's like if you bring those two bands together, it's going to be like nine people or more. So um, these are the background vocals, and there aren't many backgrounds, but there is actually one track called Crowd, so they actually recorded a bunch of people and stacked them up. And overall, I just want you guys to hear uh, how it sounds before Dying One. Okay, so you can feel that, I mean, they're there, but what if we can make them feel as if they were wider, maybe separate them from the brasses, separate them from those pumping synths? So for that, I'm going to go ahead and open up Dine One, and I'm going to use this preset that I love in Vocals Present. Usually when this preset opens up, it's going to be in the left-right mode. So I'm going to go ahead and select center side, and I'm going to link my bands. But on link center and side so i can have uh, a little bit more freedom when it comes to working on the center and the side as well So you see how immediately these vocals come through? Obviously, what I'm trying to do right now is that with this great preference from Dine One, where you can actually see how much you're adding up as you're compressing, I'm adjusting the level so I'm not tricking my ear into thinking that because it's louder, then it's better. So I'm adjusting the overall volume, and I love the fact you can actually click by hitting uh, Command. You can actually see the difference. Overall, I just feel it they're wider. Let's hear it again. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope that if you have not tried Dine One 3, go ahead to leapwingaudio.com and download your free trial. Bye.